It's August 19th. In today's reading, God commands Ezekiel to tell a group of Judas leaders that were gathered in Babylon a profoundly personal, even heartbreaking story that offers unparalleled clarity into the national condition of Judah. The Lord likens the people of Israel and Judah to a rescued orphan that he found helpless and left to die in a ditch. He adopted her as his own and tenderly cared for her, lavishing riches upon her and giving her everything she could need and want. Her blessings were unprecedented. In just a few generations after her establishment as a nation, under her third king, Solomon, her glory was unmatched in all the world. Yet in her prosperity, she abandoned her rescuer and the source of her blessings. Her behavior being not just that of a wayward wife, but of a nymphomaniac, constantly chasing illicit, even anonymous encounters with whomever happened by. Her condition was best summarized in chapter 16, verse 30. How weak your heart is, says the Lord Yahweh. What a heartbreaking story. God's pain at Israel and Judah's treatment of him was immense. Yet even in her deplorable condition, God's heart and his commitment to his covenant is clear. We read in chapter 16 and verse 53 of his unfailing tenderness and mercy. But someday I will restore you. Today's reading helps us understand that Judah had to be disciplined before she could be restored. Only a broken spirit would yield its will. Her true remorse and commitment to live faithfully would only come when she experienced the full ramifications of her actions. Here's today's application. This is a very powerful truth. True remorse only comes when the full ramifications of one's actions are realized. Let today's story of the unfaithful wife touch your heart. If it hits close to home, if there's something that God has been dealing with you about that should be yielded to Him, surrender that to Him today. Don't let that issue take you into a place of brokenness and regret. Today, step into the full light and experience His grace in all its fullness. Now here's today's prayer. 